All right, I don't know if I'm actually going to post this or not. Um, hey, everybody. Got that funk. Bit upset, quite emotional. And um, I just thought I'd roll the camera and see what happens, basically. I've, um, I've uh, been doing a lot of thinking about uh, my problems as a human being. Um, you know, we've all got them. And, uh, how to solve them? It seems so much easier from the outside looking in, but when you're on the inside looking out, it's not always so easy. And, uh, you know, I've always, my whole life, uh, taken a lot of refuge in music. Um, not just because some music sort of reminds me of who I am or who I want to be and where I've been but also uh, it can draw emotions out of me that uh, I uh, instinctively suppress and uh, there's a song which I'm going to link in the description box uh, by Don Henley uh, that uh, I, you know, I could, I feel like I could have written it myself, and I listen to it, and uh, and it just makes me cry. Um, now, before I get into that, there's something I've never really talked about on my YouTube channel because it's not something I'm really proud of, you know. But uh, I've made a point throughout the history of this channel to be pretty open with my people here, and. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I used to be a hoarder. Uh, I was one of these people who had all kinds of weird collections, and I still, to this day, have remnants of that. You know, um, certain things. Uh, I've I seen TV shows uh, on hoarders uh, it, since I since I stopped or tried to stop being a hoarder. Um, I simply don't have the space to be a hoarder now, but. Uh, yeah, the, one of the things that seems to be quite common for people with this sort of uh, mentality is uh, you attach emotional resonance to things you acquire and uh, throwing away those things uh, means throwing away those memories or emotions or whatever attachment you put on them, I suppose. And that can be a little difficult. Um, and also, you like the things in most cases, in some cases, in my cases, anyways. But um, <clears throat> I just sort of had this. Uh, I listened to this song and I had this sort of uh, epiphany about myself, which is something I, I swear I must have learned a long time ago and just forgot or something. I. Uh, yeah, it's a bit weird how I feel right now, but. You know, I, uh, it, it's, uh, I'm a passionate person. I love, and it's really hard when you know you loved someone, but they mistreat you and you have to let them go. It's so hard to let go of the love part. You can let go of the person and know you've done the right thing. And you know it's going to be all right in the long run. But fuck me. Why is it so hard to let go of the love? I'm glad that I'm capable to love so much it hurts me. I don't know. I, uh... I, I, the thing is, you have to let it go eventually. I, I, I sort of rely on time to let it spontaneously happen, but if anything, I'm worse now than I was at this time last year. And it's hard, because I have to rip this shit out of me. And I 
leg for long enough, I don't want to keep bleeding. You know, I, I, I want to heal myself. And, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I try to ride this shit out. That's my method. And usually it works pretty well, but you know, there are also times like now where it just sort of backs up on you. And you, you think, hey, man, you haven't got your shit as tightly wired as you thought, you know? <laughs> anyway. I gotta rip this shit out of me, and I don't know how. You gotta want to do it. And I don't know why I don't want to do it. It's not helping me. So you attach part of your life to the way you feel, and I guess it's like throwing away part of your life when you throw away those feelings. What is life but memory and experience? In the past, when I've been brokenhearted, I've I've dealt with it much more constructively than this. I I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, is it just old age, or I mean, I really loved her. I still love her. I miss her like mad. But we weren't good for each other. And there's some things you can't work past. And I'm understanding that I'm an adult, you know. I, I I get it. I you know I'm cerebral intellectually. I get it, but your emotions don't obey that. Your emotions are what they are, and I'm glad I've got them. And it isn't going to stop me, you know. I decided to take this year off as far as romance is concerned and deal with my shit, but. It's only now really becoming apparent to me just how much shit I've got to deal with uh, that I thought I dealt with. And uh, isn't denial a wonderful, wonderful tool? It's very handy. It always cracks me up when uh, when people say that they're not in denial. I think that's the most extreme form. Anyway, I, I guess I'm just going to wrap this video up. I, I don't even know if I really ought to post it because I know I'm just going to take some shit. But... I don't really need advice or, or sympathy or anything like that. I'm, I actually know what I have to do. It's, it just hurts, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, so uh, yeah, peace, and uh, may all your ups and downs be ups. <laughs>